And I will announce to you today, we are now fighting them back. And we will continue to fight them back until, until we get to a point where they can how we pick up arms to fight back. We are live and we are direct. <laughs> we are panicking. <laughs> Zoo is panicking. Zoo is panicking. Everything I'm going to have, but I want to I tell you the truth. It doesn't. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. I will be. I have not just I will. I have become your last bus stop and said it from the beginning till now. I will be your end until the Afra come. Eh, eh, and what we want to make abundantly clear is that we are warning everybody who is a stakeholder in the zoo about our determination and our resolve to ensure that our land is defended. This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your support. Please share the broadcast as you join. Share the broadcast on your platform. Share the broadcast any place you belong. Share the broadcast so that others can join us. Let us carry the message along. Share the broadcast. Keep sharing. Share to all platforms where you belong. Any platform you belong, share the broadcast so that people can join us. Let us spread the gospel. Let us spread the message so that everybody will be here. Join us. Please share, share, share as you join. We are going to speak to each other. We are going to do the normal thing we used to do to sensitize people and encourage their friends. That is what we do here. We don't come here for any blackmail, not for propaganda, not for any irrelevant speech. We come here to encourage fellow Biafrans. We come here to talk about things that concern the Biafran people. That is what we do, and that is what we continue to do. No man born of a woman can change that. You cannot change that mindset in order. You cannot change us to begin to introduce that, which is not acceptable. We will continue to speak up the truth and nothing but the truth, and we will not allow the enemy to preach a wrong message. We will not allow the enemy to continue to gamble into our way. We will not allow the enemy to take over our discourse we will continue to preach the gospel so that the hear from people will hear regardless wherever you're watching from i appreciate it thank you 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 for joining i appreciate everybody who has been able to connect and those who are going to be coming behind i said continue to guide and protect every one of you if you are watching from biafra land you are watching from asia from europe from america from australia from canada from New Zealand, 
Whichever part of the world you are watching from, I say, may Chukwu Okikabiyama continue to guide you, protect you, secure you, and save you. We have come once again to encourage ourselves. We have come once again to continue to struggle. We have come once again to continue to build on the foundation which Mazen Nandekan have led. We are standing on the foundation of Mazen Nandekan. We are not laying any new foundation. That foundation that our supreme leader Mazen Nandekan have led, that is where we are building. And as you're watching, I want to remind you that the platform where you are watching today is an autopiloted platform. A platform autopiloted by Chukwu Kukabiyama himself under the spokesmanship of Mazen Samarepa and on the leadership of Mazen Nandekan. That is where we stand. Unchangeable, unbribable, very, very consistent. Consistency personified. Always speaking the truth. That is where we stand. If you are one of those that love the truth, you are going to enjoy this platform. But if you are one of those who is supporting evil, you can never, ever remain the same as you continue to watch. If you are one of those who is confused, you don't know your left and right, you will never remain the same as you continue to watch. I bet you, it is either you go out changed or you choose where you belong. May Chukwu Kukabiyama guide and protect everybody that have joined us today. I say May Chukwu Kukabiyama guide and protect you. We will continue to speak. We will continue to say the word. We will continue to preach the gospel. Regardless of what the enemies are doing. Regardless of what they say. Regardless of their attack. Regardless of their propaganda. The more they push their propaganda, the more we we'll progress. The more they push their blackmail, the more we we'll progress. The more they think they will stop us, the more we'll make a hell of progress. And that is one of the reasons why I love our spokesperson, Master Simon Eber. Very, very consistent and undeterred. When you are doing things and you think you're going to push him back, you don't know you are. You are just shifting him forward. As in all our who excursion came with him, that when you kick a frog, you see a frog walking and you kick that frog, you only help the frog to escort him to make his journey faster. And that is what is happening on the struggle today. Every single attack you have seen on our spokesperson, Mazen Simon Eba, every single attack you have seen on the autopiloted group has become a stepping stone for them to progress and enlarge their coast. Every time they make that attack, every time they push their propaganda and blackmail, it becomes a stepping stone for us to make exploit. The goodbye in Abaria. Extension of his journey faster. And today, you can see after they have brought their blackmail and propaganda, trying to preach their nonsense against the autopiloted group, against our spokesman, Simon Eber, everything has backfired on them. And today they are crying. They are shedding tears. Go to their platform and you see what they are doing. They are, shared, they are confused. They don't know where to follow. They are totally confused. Some of them can't even hold it. They are asking themselves, what kind of a group is this? What kind of a spokesperson is this, Master Simon Eber? When you push him here, he's here. You push him here, he's here. When you think you, have, you are done with him, that is when he is starting with you. And if you continue that way, until Biafra comes. Every one of you saw that we woke up and saw that the flag of Biafra have risen up in all parts of Biafra land. The flag of Biafra is flying high in all parts of Biafra land. If you are watching from Nigeria, look around your neighborhood. Wherever you see the flag, let us know. Look around your neighborhood. And in your neighborhood, if there's no none, raise the flag of Biafra yourself. You can raise it. If there is any zoo, zoo flag around you, bring it down. Bring it down. Any zoo flag around you, bring it down. We are not supposed to see any zoo flag flying anywhere. We are not supposed to see any zoo flag flying anywhere on the planet Earth. Mainly in Biafra land. We are not supposed to see it. The Biafra land the flag have risen. The same way you woke up and you saw Biafra flag everywhere, that is the same way you are going to wake up one day and you realize that you are not in Biafra land. That flag that you saw that was raised signifies a lot of things. The spirit of Biafra have woken up. 
the spirit of Biafra have been activated. All our fallen heroes, they have risen and they are coming to take vengeance. They have risen to play their role to support us in marching into Biafra in a few days. And I tell you, no man born of a woman can stop our marching into Biafra. In case you are still confused, in case you are not aware, we are marching into Biafra land in a few days' time. No man born of a woman can stop it. The only good thing you can do for yourself, if you are a Biafra and you have not killed him, the earlier the better. Make haste while the sun shines. Because there will be a time when you cannot be able to penetrate anymore or have a seat. Make haste while the sun shines. If you are from the old southeastern region and yet you still think that the coming of Biafra is a joke, you think it doesn't concern you. I pray that you realize on time before it is too late. I pray you realize on time before it's too late. Because what is coming is heavy. What is coming is heavy. I'm not trying to frighten you. Neither am I trying to make you happy. I am telling you so that you get prepared. Any place you are and you are a beer friend on the planet Earth, get yourself ready and prepared. Get yourself prepared. In 2023, Biafra will come. We are going to have our own nation. We are going to have a nation where everyone will be proud. Where you can be proud to travel with your passport and you raise it on and say, I am a Biafra and nobody will embarrass you. Where you will boldly walk around and say, I am a Biafra. A time when you will have a country that you can be patriotic to. It is going to happen in 2023. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying. It doesn't matter their brand blackmail and propaganda. We are going to be Afro. And as we are doing the finishing touches on the criminals that are hanging themselves up and down, we will continue to do so. Every criminal who have said that we will not go into Biafra will not be alive to see us walk into Biafra. And even if he succeeds in being alive, then he will not walk into Biafra with us. It is very clear. The journey into Biafra has started. The liberation of Biafra has started. All you have to do is to play your own part, play your own role, to see that much into Biafra becomes a reality. If you are one of those who still think it's a joke, I pity you. That's all I got to say. I pity for you and your whatever you are thinking, because Biafra will definitely come. It will come. It has come already. Not only it will come, it has come already. We can feel it, we can see it. All oh, that is required have been activated. We are just waiting for the time. All our allies are ready. International allies, local allies, they are already waiting for us. And we have given the dates. And our countdown continues. Some people think it's right that they call us that we are ranting. They call us miscrant. They say we are making noise and all that. But just as our spokesperson, Mr. Samaneko, said that we should increase that noise, we will increase that noise. It is that same noise that brought us to where we are today. It is that same noise that catapulted us into this level. And we will continue in that noise until Biafra comes. Until Biafra comes. Everyone who has spoken against the struggle, who said we will not get Biafra, they will go down. Our spokesman, Master Samuel Ekwa, is doing the massive exposition, the very last exposition that we've done before walking to Biafra, and must be done. The man with the wig that every one of you know, who called himself the chief legal counsel, former legal counsel, lead, lead counsel of, of legal team, former lead counsel of legal team. You all know his name. I don't want to be mentioning his name say, because he doesn't deserve those attentions. After the dragon have exposed him, he has lost his foothold. He has lost his bravery. He can't even be bold to come and shout his umuchineke anymore. He can't even be able to come out and make broadcast anymore. He's only hiding on audio this time around. And more revelations are coming out. How many of you knew that that very man who called himself the chief leverkers of Mazenanega wanted to run away from the zoo? He wanted to run away from the zoo. He wanted to discharge. The lawyer of Martin Lanik and wanted to run away. But he was denied visa. 
Finland government lining with Peter Oyen wanted to run away. They denied him visa. I guess they must have investigated him and saw that this man is not pure, he's from land. And this same man has several cases, criminal cases against him in the zoo. He has many cases in the zoo. Remember when Rufen told him to resign for Mazen Nandikan legal team, that he doesn't have he doesn't qualify to stand for Mazen Nandikan on, on that case. When Rufen said it, some of our first thought it was that out of hatred or maybe they had a quarrel or misunderstanding. But as the day go by, you begin to understand why Rufen made that comment and it has become much more clearer than it was yesterday. That if I need your phone is compromised. He's one of those who is making sure that Mazen Nandekan is to release. He was aware of the kidnap of Mazen Nandekan. The plan, when they were planning the kidnap of Mazen Nandekan, he was very, very much aware. Him and his uh, his boys, the department of Sabutua, they were very much aware. When they planned to kidnap Mazen Nandekan was going on, but they never told him. They never blew alarm. Even after he was kidnapped, they were aware, but they pretended not to know. They pretended that they didn't know. But let me tell you, nothing will stop it. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us from moving forward to make sure that we get the effort. Nothing will stop us. It doesn't matter the propaganda. It doesn't matter the blackmail. It doesn't matter what anybody says from any direction. We will definitely get the effort. Get the more they continue to push their propaganda against us, the more we draw closer to Biafra. You saw after that very after that very press interview that he granted, he wanted that after he thought that maybe after granting that interview, that the autopiloted group would not be relevant anymore. Maybe after granting that interview, that all the Biafrans would desert our brother man but after that interview, I can tell you, I can bet that autopilot have one more souls after that interview. After that very interview, more souls are converted to autopilot. After that interview, our spokesman Samuel got more support, much more support than you ever imagine. But he thought that maybe after doing that, that all will be gone. But just as much as Samuel has told him. Then advise him to take his remaining pieces and go home so that he can be a little bit relevant to his own family. He refused. He insisted. And he decided to embrace his doom. Everybody that has stood up against the autopilot, except for Martin Nandika, they never remain the same. It doesn't matter who the person is. As long as you volunteer yourself to rise against that institution that you go cover yourself created, you will never, ever, ever remain the same. Chukwu Kama will deal with you. After they did what they called that their press interview, whatever, they have remained much more irrelevant than ever. Because the man came there and he never answered any question and he made everything much more terrible than he had ever been. Everything he says, we are all lies without any evidence whatsoever. Painting lies everywhere. And he thought that lies can save him. Lies can never save anybody. It can't save you. It will only deepen you more into your failure. The lies you told will only make you more irrelevant and will make people see read between the line and know that the Reverend Father we are shot also. When you listen to that interview, you see that he didn't answer any question. Instead, he deepened himself more and showed us how criminal minded he is and the evil he has committed against Mazen and the against the Afro people. It was exposed in that very interview, very, very clear. And today, go to their platform. After that interview, they are still in their platform trying to do, uh, do, do control damage, control damage. Biafrans are not daft. Biafrans are not daft. For every single statement you made there, Biafrans are keeping record. From the start to the end, we are keeping record for you and you can't delete it. No matter how you delete it, we will keep record for you. From the way you started and the way you ended, we are keeping record for you and we are very much aware that you never answered any single question that was asked in that verity. You never started the statement that you completed it. And today, here are we, Biafrans. No man born of a woman can stop the coming of Biafra. The earlier you begin to embrace Biafra, the better for you. The more you continue to make a move to fight against Biafra, the more you destroy yourself. Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi Plate.
you have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand on the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to, make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals. They are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am and I'm the canon. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man. Not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. If you are not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> to go everywhere. We must continue.